Race number five at Belmont on Saturday. We'll jump at 2.40. It is the Don Martin 70 plus birthday handicap over the staying trip of 2,200 metres and in replay. Let's go back seven days to the runner up effort of Truly Great. A line of three. Concord Zone joins in. So war. Truly great. Right to the extreme outsiders. Pucker Punyal hits the front. Down to the 250. Pucker Punyal races two clear. Truly great. So war. They're running on down the outside. But Pucker Punyal rolling back to the inside. Inside the last 100 is clear of So war. Aconite. Truly great. And it's too good for them. Pucker Punyal. Pucker Punyal home. A double for the Smith Stable beats. Truly great was beaten as much by the tempo of the race that we've just seen in replay as he was by the ability of Pucker Punyal. Uh, two lengths at the line was the margin. It was closing quite rapidly. I think stepping up to 2,200 metres is certainly going to be a positive for Truly Great, the son of Dundee. Uh, slight query on going from 1,600 to 2,200 metres, but it is Grant and Lana Williams, it is William Pike, it is Peter's Investments, and this is a race in which I think most of these horses, apart from Truly Great, have hit their mark. Goes on top from number two, Bombay Style, who's won two in a row for its new connections. Tiana Robertson and Mitchell Pateman, they combined last start to beat Aberdeen Queen by half a length. No reason at all this horse can't continue on, but he's another one going from 1,600 to 22. Number one is British Bessie, who's certainly a stayer for Sharon Miller and Alan Kenny. He was beaten by Sentimental Gift last start. That was seven days ago as well, five lengths. I'm not sure if that form's necessarily the strongest here. And number eight, Moderator. Forgive the last run behind Bombay Style, was beaten seven lengths. Prior to that was behind Aberdeen Queen. Came back a bit lame in that run behind Bombay Style. Loses William Pike, but does get Chris Parnham. Top selection in race number five is number five, Truly Great, to beat two Bombay Style, one British Bessie and eight Moderator. Race number six at Belmont on Saturday. We'll jump at 3.20. It is the Glenroy Chaff handicap over 1,300 metres for the three-year-old. It's a cracking contest in replay. Let's go back a fortnight and the win of Levitate. Devoted star cutting the corner, heading back towards the inside. 350 from home. Sharp Bob tackled by I Micey. Levitate behind those. Seminole Brave down the outside playing Marika. Devoted star doing nothing but Levitate now launches. Levitate takes off at the 100. Burst clear. Levitate running away from Seminole Brave and the last is over. Massive win by Levitate. Levitate blew the... Only the nine acceptances, but this race deserves to be in the quad. It's an absolute ripper. And I'm going to go with number one, Levitate. Now, I jumped off this horse last start, not because he didn't have the ratings in the book to win. I was just a little bit concerned that he'd gone to the well once too often, but uh, he just keeps putting up excellent performance after excellent performance. And arguably, his best run this campaign was in defeat over this distance uh, of four, uh, 1,300 metres three starts ago when he was just touched off by Indian Pacific. I think he is the one to beat here, and therefore he goes on top. From number three, Captain Kink. Now, he led all the way to win last start two weeks ago, beaten Pucker Punyal. Pucker Punyal since come out and won at odds on. He probably won't get it as soft here, but this horse is running really, really well, and the only time he went poorly was when he really stepped up in trip to the 1,600 metres. Number two is Boomtastic, another last start victor coming around in this race, the second from the Simon Miller yard. I'm just a little bit concerned about the gate and probably more about the trip up from the 1,000 to the 1,300 metres from last time out. And then number eight, the different four lines represented by Giant Leap for Grant and Lanana Williams and William Pike. Did get beat in a maiden by Beat the Bro two starts ago and it did take it four goes to break its maiden. So, and also beaten by Levitate previously. Top selection in race number six is number one, Levitate, to beat three, Captain King, two, Boomtastic, and eight, Giant Leap. Race number seven at Belmont on Saturday will jump at 3.55. It is the main event. It is the HG Bolton Sprint listed race over 1,200 metres and in replay. Let's have a look at the trial of Red Can Man. At the tail start, the Friar is working to the outside. Leader, though, is Red Can Man going strongly. Grand Randall in second place has just lost the back of this leader. And McGruddy shakes up Red Can Man and starts to boot away. Red Can Man inside the 150 is out by about four now. End of second, Grand Randall will line up for third. Tinto Bell is trying to hold on to that position. But Red Can Man bolts in second past the... No doubt in my mind that the two best handicapped horses in this race are Cup Knight and Red Can Man. But uh, I think over this trip and given the barrier draws have to be with Red Can Man. He won first up over 1,200 metres 
last preparation with what was probably a career best performance. He's drawn the inside gate here. He's going to be well in front of Cup Knight in the run one would think. Has to be the one to beat. Goes on top from number three, Cup Knight. He's another rising star of the WA ranks, but he has to concede weight and a head start to Red Cam Man from his wide gate. He'll be motoring home, really liked his trial in which he beat Don's legacy by three lengths, but I think this might be a race too soon for Cup Knight. Love this horse, number one, Electric Light, and Electric Light absolutely loves Belmont Park and 1,200 metres. Six goes, five wins. Doesn't mind uh, being ridden by William Pike as well. He reunites with her. She hasn't been too bad behind the likes of Vega Magic, Perfect Jill, and Essential Spice in features this preparation. And then number five, Samizdat. Now, he was terrible in the Bowfine Stakes. I think it's make or break day on Saturday with Samizdat here in the, uh, for the Asian Bow Stakes winner. Hopefully, last time out was just an aberration and he bounces back to form. Top selection in race number seven is number seven, Red Can Man, to beat three Cup Knight, one Electric Light, and five Samizdat. Race number eight at Belmont on Saturday. We'll jump at 4.30. It's the Amelia Park Handicap over 1,400 metres and in replay. Let's have a look at the Cerise and Wright Galloper inspirational girl. Same time, Flower of Scotland though wobbled right off towards the middle of the track, balancing at the 350 skin and tins had reached a narrow lead down the outside, Turbo Power his inspirational girl letting loose though with her run, inspirational girl surges up nearing the 100 kicks about a length in front of Turbo Power with Abbey Lane running on but inspirational girl makes it a winning return, inspirational girl beat home Turbo Power. Inspirational girl is five from six for Peter's investments, William Pike and Grant and Alana Williams, the only time she lost, she lost a drift star of all horses. And you'd have to say it was a combination of pilot error and the tempo of the race. She carries less weight here than most of her chief rivals and most of her chief rivals, the likes of Massimo and Military Ruler, are pretty exposed in terms of their handicap. It goes on top here, probably the best bet on the card. From number one, Massimo, who finally won again seven days ago, but he has been in work for quite some time now. He loses the senior jockey of Clint Johnston Porter. He jumps off with Maddie Derrick coming on. They claim down to 57 kilos. They still rise in weight by two kilos. Massimo did win last start goes in the minors on Saturday. Number two is Military Ruler, who must be absolutely sick and tired of chasing home Sir Reese and White Gallopers. Showmanship, Windstorm, and then Windstorm again. Has the bars on, but that's not a concern with the McAuliffe Yard, and I think the step up to 1,400 metres suits. And then number 14, Turbo Power. Now, this horse was second in the replay race, beaten a length and a half. Don't think you can turn the tables on Inspirational Girl, but there's no reason at all why Turbo Power down the bottom can't run some kind of race. Top selection in race number eight is number eight, Inspirational Girl, to beat one Massimo, two Military Ruler and 14 Turbo Power. Race number nine at Belmont on Saturday will jump at 5.05. It's the Crown Perth handicap over 1,400 metres and in replay. Let's go back to a midweek win of Position of Power. Back in the field, Birding Magic looking for an inside run, but at the top of the straight and Pateman's off and gone with Inflation. Inflation races two clear from Chest and Flyer. Position of power a further two or three behind it. Inflation at the 200, still with a handy lead. Position of power starting to knuckle to the task, but Inflation's responding. Inflation clear. Position of power starting to dig in hard. He's coming two to the leaders. One, they'll hit the line, diving on the outside position. Position of power has won two 1,400 metre races at Belmont Park on the bounce. And I think the key thing here is gonna be the map. He's drawn gate number two. He has tactical speed, so he can sit just off the leader. He gets down to 58 kilos with Chris Graham taking over from the suspended Paul Harvey. And I just think he'll be ahead of the main dangers here in the run and he's proven in his recent starts that he can let go in the straight. He goes on top from number two, double the pro, who's improved significantly for Luke Fernie. Did win three starts ago at Northern, then came to town and won for the Mitchell Payman Fernie combination. And then last start was beaten five and a bit lengths by Levitate, but that's a very good horse and had drawn a very sticky gate, 12 of 14. Can improve here from gate number seven. Number nine is Pike in the last, that's devoted star. It's the relation to enticing star. Got a bit of a query about the 1400 metres for this horse. Did win two starts ago over the 1000, then was disappointing behind Levitate in that graduation race over 1200. They go to the 14, might not be uh, the right decision. And then number three is Aberdeen Queen. Now this is a horse coming back in trip from the 1600. Did win over 1652 starts ago. Probably better suited over the 1400. Has drawn a horrible gate here, 13 of 14. 
Top selection in race number nine is number one, position of power to beat two double the pro, nine devoted star and three Aberdeen queen. It's now time to nominate my best bets on the Ascot card. I think it's going to be a good day for William Pike like it is most Saturdays in Perth. Race number five, number five, truly great, and then the best bet on the card. Race number eight, number eight, inspirational girl. It's easy to stay up to date with everything that's happening at Perth Racing. You can log onto our website or you can follow us on one of our social media channels. Until next time, bye for now.